Hey guys, welcome to episode 2 of The Winter Project. I'm not gonna keep doing that cool editing thing because it takes time. The thing that I want to do because this project is sort of in to increase audience interaction is comment on your comments. Um... Look at it, just commenting on comments, commenting, commenting, commenting. So I'm gonna comment on your comments to increase audience interaction because that's the thing that I want to do. So, Jack Brady says, Hey friend, 21 pilot sign, have fun trying to juggle making videos with all the exams we have coming up. Thanks, I appreciate that. And then we just have a conversation about revision. So, if your dream is to be featured in one of these videos, then you can achieve that by leaving a comment below. Leave a comment on what your, um, what music you recommend because today segue ba, 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 I'm gonna do the thing that I did last month where I told you what my 10 most April songs were and this month is May so we're doing the 10 most May songs so yeah I'm really interested to hear what you guys listen to so let's just let's just start this playlist shall we our song is Give Me a Try by The Wombats. The Wombats were one of those 2007 era bands that I discovered through Triple J. Um, this is one of those songs I was just listening to this month that I really liked. They're kind of, they're very British and very pop-ish. British and pop-ish. Yeah, they have some cool music. I would check them out if I was you. Cause they're a fun time. Okay, number two. High and High by John Flanagan. I saw John Flanagan live a few years ago. He's like a Melbourne-based folk kind of person. Um, he's really cool. He makes really cool stuff. His favourite song of mine, nope, my favourite song of his, yep, is Don't Feed the Birds. With It has this really cool fiddle part and I really want to learn the fiddle so I can play that part because it's just it just sounds really cool. Um, but this song I heard and I liked and it's off his new album that I actually have the vinyl of because I'm a fancy, pretentious hipster. Okay, song number three is Firefly by Usman Riaz. I saw this guy do a TED talk, and by TED talk, I mean TED finger style guitar thing. And it was really cool, so I listened to some of his music, and I like this track, so it's here. I really like uh, that kind of like upbeat finger style guitar kind of stuff, like Ocean by John Butler, that song is phenomenal. It's also 12 minutes long, but it's great. Song number four is Punch This Heart of Mine by Skipping Girl Vinegar. I was. This is another local band. They, um, I have one of their t-shirts, um, and I thought that to wear it, I should probably first condone their music. So, I listened to their most recent album, and it's a good time. This song is really, has like a big sort of chorusy feel. And it's like, I would describe the genre as like folk pop, maybe, kind of a little bit, also maybe not. It's a really good track, it's a really good album, and now I can wear that shirt. Track number five is Jungle by Tash Sultana. <laughs> Tash Sultana is a demigod. Here is a clip of her beatboxing with pan flutes to prove that she is in fact a demigod. <laughs> She's really cool. She's one of those artists that, like, I was in a bit of a musical rut and I was, like, listening to, this, to the same stuff and I was like, man, nothing's ever gonna be exciting again. Wow, that got deep. And then one day, Tash Sultana comes along and you're like... Pow! So it's really, it's a really unique sort of um, style. It's like looping and stuff. This track's off a new OP. It's really cool. Her YouTube stuff is really cool. I'll link her channel in the description because it will blow your mind, as it did to me. Track number seven. Nope. Track number six. Out of My Own by Gabrielle Applin. I think I discovered this artist through Lewis Watson. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I'm like 99% sure about that, so... It's the same sort of style as him, like, sort of indie, folky stuff. This song has a really good tune that gets stuck in my head. It's really cool. I like it. It's, like, it's a nice, chill, sort of, yet upbeat song, if that makes any sense. And it's a really good track. So well done. Track number seven, last song by Lewis Watson that I'm going to assume is not French and is in fact just a song containing la. Last song by Lewis Watson. 
This is also of his newest album, Midnight, which I featured a track of in my last um, Songs of the Month kind of video. I'm slightly obsessed with this album. Just slightly. It's a really good track. It sort of builds to this one chorus. There's only one chorus and it's a really good chorus, so just like keep in mind that the chorus is sacred and must be worshipped. All worship the chorus. It's a really cool song. You guys know how much I like builds. Maybe you do, I don't know. Track number eight, Someone to Stay by Vancouver Sleep Clinic. I must have heard this song like a really long time ago and just it got like kind of lodged in my brain and then I keep hearing it from time to time in like random indie playlists on Spotify and being like, wow, I know that song from somewhere. And then I discovered that this was that song that I knew from somewhere. That was a really rambly story, I'm not sure if it really made sense, but basically I think I've known this song for a while. I've now identified that it is this song that I have known, and I know it. This makes no sense at all. But it's a really nice song. I really like it. It's like, sort of chilled, and more arm movements. Yeah, it's really cool. More claps. Track number nine is Soul on Fire by St. Jude. I think my dad has a vinyl of St. Jude and that's where I know them from. Um, but this track was off a playlist, a Spotify playlist called Funky Heavy Bluesy or something like that. And I just decided one day that I would listen to blues because that's the kind of strange hipster that I am. I keep saying I'm a hipster, I'm really not a hipster. Maybe I am a hipster. BRB, identity crisis. <laughs> so yeah, I really like blues. I really like the sort of the, um, what's it called? The organ and the guitar tone and the, the chord progression and the baby's gone to Chicago. It's a really cool genre. And this playlist, the like funky heavy blues playlist, it's really cool and I dig it. And finally, Don't Come Home by our very own M. Blackery. So hard to say. M released a new EP and this is a track that is on it. I listened to the like acoustic, I guess you would call it demo of Don't Come Home and I was like, wow. And then I listened to this version of it, and I was like, wow. This version's like a much poppier version, but it still, it still is, is double thumbs up. Basically what I'm trying to say is that it's a solid bop. And that concludes today's music stuff. My camera keeps cutting out, so I'm trying to do this quickly. Day two, we already have technical difficulties, but I'm sure that we will solve them with time. Remember that if you have music recommendations of your own, just leave them in the comments below and I will probably check them out unless they're Imagine Dragons. Jack. See you tomorrow. Sword leave Teleborine. It's my sign off. I haven't lost the plot. Maybe I have lost the plot, but that is still my sign off. So tell me why you stay at all.